Happy Saturday, my name is Sean McCarthy, Armed Forces Initiative Team Washington, coming at you today with another pro tip from the field, this one on kill kits. This is my personal kill kit, it's got everything I'm gonna need to break down, uh, deer, bear, elk, cougar, uh, whether I'm close to the truck or further back in, I'll tweak my kit just to shave some weight. One thing you won't see here today is uh, ultralight tarp, just didn't feel like breaking it out. Uh, things that may not make the trip every time is a bone saw, great for, uh, getting the big bones, but also trimming up some limbs. Uh, this won't make it every time as well, but a good old boning knife, Kydex sheath. Uh, something that will make it every time is a Havilon. I keep extra blades in it. I also keep one of those little blade removal tools. If you haven't messed with these, they're extremely sharp and you don't want to cut your finger off. One thing I will bring with me every time, I'm a big fan of fixed blade knives. This specific knife was uh, made for me as a retirement gift when I left the Navy. Uh, this is a caping knife with a G10 handle. If you don't know anything about G10, it gets tacky when it gets wet, which is really great as a sportsman. Also a high vis. Um, he's a huge AFI supporter. Uh, go look him up on Instagram, Dead Tree Originals. And then I keep, you know, kind of a Ziploc full of miscellaneous items. Within here, I'll keep, you know, like, I'll keep those good old long length gloves for uh, doing gutting jobs. And I'll keep some of those shorter nitrile gloves. Uh, keep a, a heavy duty uh, leaf bag. Some electrical tape. You'll see I got some zip ties, some flagging. I've got uh, chem lights, some good old high vis 550. I'll keep an orange sash. And you know, good old dude wipes. Really good for uh, cleaning yourself up after the fact. And then I'll, uh, I'll have my game bags. I'll break these down uh, post-season and I'll vac seal them, uh, keep them dry, and I'll label on, on the bag, you know, what I have. So in this case, I've got two small in that uh, one tenderloin or heart goodie bag. And then I'll keep, uh, I'll keep my larger ones. Now, a lot of kits will come with uh, four quarter bags, and I'm not going to vac seal those all together uh, for simplicity's sake. I'll kind of break those apart. In this case, uh, you can see two large bags and you know sometimes you can see the dimensions on it and then the beautiful thing the reason I do this is it kind of makes a little bit of a square shape with this specific bag from caribou gear and in stacking this the way that I do it kind of uh, provides a little bit of rigidity when I put that down to the bottom of my pack and so when I take my pack off it kind of free stands fairly easy or it stands easier when I put it up next to a, uh, a tree uh, last couple <laughs> last things these are still in here uh, Band-Aid, obviously we'll have a first aid kit, but you know, Band-Aid, and then th this is a tool you don't see in a lot of uh, kill kits. Um, you're out there, your buddy misses, and you get a great follow-up shot. This is this is uh, definitely for him. Or let's say you're you're just running guns a-blazing uh, with a knife and you cut the hell out of yourself. You know, there, there's nothing like a good old heavy flow to really uh, patch up that big kit or you know he's just having a heavy flow day because he just missed the buck of a lifetime so again that's my personal kill kit uh like i said tweak it as i see fit hope to see you guys out there at rendezvous again see ya